Let's talk about flatworms in your saltwater reef aquarium. Hey guys, it's Andy from Aquariums Maintained by Andy. It's been a while since I uh, have done a video, so I thought I would try to make one tonight. Uh, I wanted to do kind of an experiment, and this may take a couple of days to actually get done, but I'm going to get started tonight. Um, I have looked on the internet and I was reading all the, uh, the blogs and whatnot, and people are uh, asking questions about these red flatworms that people get in their saltwater aquariums. Well, they are a nuisance and does commonly happen. Usually people will get like a, a chorus rasp or six slime rasp to take care of the flatworms. But um, other people are saying that they are seeing their flatworms eat the algae off of the rocks. So I wanted to do an experiment tonight, and I'm going to make a uh, basically some test vials. Uh, you can see them right over here. No, you can't see them. But anyway, they're over here. They're just some small bottles. And one bottle, I'm going to put algae wafers. In another bottle, I'm going to put actual pellet food from Sustainable Aquatics. In another bottle, I'm going to put diversia or green hair algae. And I'm going to try a fourth bottle of phytoplankton, but I don't know if it's heavy enough to settle, so I don't know if I'll be able to keep it in the bottle. But anyway, check it out, see how it goes, and we'll figure it out. So here we have the four uh, water test bottles that I was talking about. One has an algae wafer, another one has the food from Sustainable Aquatics, the other one has a green hair algae which I do not believe is going to do anything, and the fourth one to the right has phytoplankton. All right, so it's been about 24 hours or so, and here are the results. Basically, in the test vial that had the phytoplankton, there were a couple of flatworms on the glass, nothing around the food. Uh, in the vial with the green hair algae, uh, it looked like the spaghetti worms that actually pulled the uh, hair algae out of the bottle. And there are a couple of flatworms on the green hair algae, um, so they may be eating some of that. In the vial that had the food from Sustainable Aquatics, the flatworms didn't touch it at all. There were some flatworms inside the bottle, but nowhere near the food. And the vial that had the biofilm in it had some flatworms on the biofilm and inside the vial. So, oh, and also in the fourth one, um, the uh, algae wafer, there were no flatworms on the algae wafer at all, although I did have a couple of hermit crabs in there eating. Uh, so that's pretty much, to sum it up, I guess, uh, it looks like the flatworms will probably eat the biofilm. That's why they always stay on the glass. Uh, not so much the uh, phytoplankton, they had no interest in that. The green hair algae, possibly some interest. And uh, the algae wafer, pretty much zero. 